Hi everyone. Today is Friday, November 12th, 2021, and it's my birthday. So I thought it would be fun or interesting or something a little bit different to vlog my day because I have some fun stuff planned. Um, I took the day off of work and I'm going to put my makeup on, by the way, if that wasn't clear. Um, I took the day off of work and I am going to head up to Spring Green, Wisconsin, which is outside of Madison. There's a little theater there that does like outdoor performances in the summer and then like as it moves into fall it does like indoor performances at their theater. They have like two different like setups. And so yeah, I'm heading up there for an indoor show obviously because it's November and it's a production of Taming of the Shrew. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I am going to head up to my boyfriend's place first. He is making me breakfast which is very exciting. So yeah, I thought I would vlog the day and then after we go and see the play, um, there's apparently a bookstore in that town. So obviously, you know, I have to check that out and then dinner and then we'll have to drive home. It's like two hours away from my boyfriend's place, like this town. So obviously we won't be out too late because your girl doesn't like staying up late and I will have to drive home. I don't do vlogs very often, as most of you are aware if you pay attention to the type of content I put out, um, mostly because I'm really bad at them. I will constantly forget to turn on my camera and record stuff. You know, I share a house with other people and I don't want to like disturb them with my vlogging, so I don't do like reading vlogs. But every now and then, usually during Vlogmas, I'm not doing Vlogmas, but you know, during Vlogmas, I'll usually try to do a vlog because there'll be some fun stuff going on. Oh crap, I didn't put concealer on. Man, how do people do get ready with me? I don't know, remember what I was saying. I usually do a vlog, like maybe like once a year or something like that, because I'll pick a day that has something exciting going on and I'll vlog that day because I can do a one day vlog because then like my sole focus for the day is vlogging as opposed to ones that are like week long when you know like two days in I'll forget to turn on my camera and leave it behind and miss lots of like fun things and then I'll be annoyed with myself and not bother posting a vlog so that's how my brain works. I'm really bad at putting on makeup I probably shouldn't be doing this on camera but oh well too late now um so yeah let's get started with our day Oh, these potatoes are good. What'd you put on them? Uh, salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of onion, salt, uh, cumin, cayenne pepper, paprika. Very good. Do you want any oat milk? Uh, no, I'm okay. I have my coffee still, so. Such great service. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can bite through this. <laughs> Oh. Extra crunch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mmm, it's fine. <laughs> it tastes good. Get you a guy who cooks for you, man. That's the best. Ta -da. <gasps> you made the sweatshirt. Oh my gosh. I might have to wear this tomorrow. Wait, you wrote something on it. Okay, hold on. I should probably just take it out. Yeah, just, just, just open it. Just open it. Take it out. Take a gander. Tigers don't lose sleep over sheep. 
That's cute. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. How's it feel? Very nice. Very soft. Feel it. Okay. I was worried like it was gonna be. I should probably um, shut the camera. Yeah. What? I was worried it was gonna be uh, not soft like you like your shirt. Oh no, this is very soft. I like it a lot. <laughs> Are these socks? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I know you like your socks. I do like my socks. Plus, they're nerdy book socks. So. They are nerdy book socks. Ooh, stickers! Yeah. <sighs> There's stickers of these. Will I focus? Probably not because it's focusing on my face. Just put it in front of your face. <laughs> there, we oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Gotta figure out who are the special people who get those. <laughs> and, and then some cute little arson chocolate from this place. Will it focus? Will it focus? Yeah. Are they the same? No. Oh, this one's white chocolate. Cashew white chocolate. Golden milk. Coconut milk chocolate. They're vegan too. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see. Cocoa butter, cane sugar, organic oats, cashews, turmeric, cardamom. This sounds amazing. Candy ginger! Oh, I'm so excited to eat this one. Yeah, I figured. Like, I got, like, that one's like just the normal standard, chocolate. standard, yeah. But, like, I was like, I saw this, I was like, I think you'll like this. I'm hoping you'll like I'm it. not, like, a big white chocolate person. Yeah. But with those spices, I think I'll really like it. All right, so we are going on an adventure to, I don't know, what, we're going somewhere in Madison? No, Spring Green, Wisconsin. It's outside Madison. That. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, no, we're going to see a play for the lovely Wrenchie's birthday. Um, something is true. <laughs> I, I, I remembered one part of it. I feel like I get points for that. You do. It's Taming of the Shrew. It's yeah, that, that as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it's about. I didn't want spoilers. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's actually might be a good idea for me to read like the summary to you so you understand kind of what's going on because obviously it's Shakespeare. So like this speech and stuff might not be it, it requires extra work a little bit you don't really need to know it but it like helps if you have like a general understanding oh, it sounds like you don't think i'm galaxy brain enough to figure it out why are you being so silent oh i mean i i just don't know because it's not easy that's all i'm saying <laughs> she doesn't think i'm smart i didn't say that seems like you idiot with your art degree wow i never said any of that yes you did no i didn't <laughs> but yes i i'm pretty sure taming of the shrew was a or sorry i i believe that 10 things i hate about you is a loose retelling of taming of the shrew that's really weird why kind of awesome it's just like, huh, I wouldn't have expected that. But there, yeah, awesome. there's a bunch of like 90s rom coms and stuff that were all based on like Shakespeare and classic literature and stuff like that. Interesting. Yeah, definitely, obviously, Clueless. Um, Clueless is based on Emma by Jane Austen. Really? Yeah. Who'd have knew? Me, I knew. <laughs> Okay. So you could have a general idea of like what might potentially happen during this play. But I'm excited because I've never seen a production of Taming of the Shrew, so. I mean, I'm built different, so I'll get it. I don't, I believe that you'll get it. Built different. Oh my gosh. I'm acting like this just because the camera's on. Look, there has to be one diva in each relationship. Uh huh. I don't feel like that fits your personality. Me on the other hand, someone who like loves the theatrics, like pull up being a diva. Oh yeah, of course. If I was gonna choose, I'd immediately say you're the diva in this relationship. Good. At least you know your place then. But not like in like that way, like in like a haha -ha way. <laughs> I just need to make that clear for the camera.
dang kids and your technology don't know how to just enjoy the moment. <laughs> oh, my word. No, you're the best. Thank you. Brr. Not at all. Do you have an extra hat? I like most. You can have the beanie and I can take one of the snapbacks. No. I feel like it's going to be cold, Rinchy. Yeah, probably. You want the beanie? Yes. Ah, uh, I do have my mask. Yes, I have my mask. Do you have your mask? Yeah, it's in my bag. Wait, hold this. I need to put my beanie on. Yes, you do. Hold this. Careful. You have to hold it. It's not like super strong. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. This thing is... Yeah. Look oh, at okay. you! You look cute! Okay. Wait, He's like, well, this is mine now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, we have a wild Rinsey getting her gloves. See, soy. Yeah, it's perfect technique. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so, give the camera back. <laughs> <laughs> Side of my glasses is fucked up and not the other. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got, you got a little eye patch. <laughs> a little pirate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it was cool. I understood most of it. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the moral of the story is like don't judge a book by its cover because like Bianca kind of sucked a lot. Uh huh. Um, and then what's your name? Kate. Kate. Kate was great. Kate was great. Uh, uh, she, she held it down. She did hold it down. Then <laughs> there's like he's dude was like, dang, you a real one. You just really sold out for me. All right, let's go have sex now. <laughs> In end of the end of the play. So. Yeah. Although I will admit, there the beginning of the second act, I did not understand what was happening between Kate and what's his face. Like I'm the entire time, I'm like, why is he being mean to her? I didn't. Yeah. I I, I didn't really get a lot of what like he was playing a long game. Okay. He was. Okay. He was playing the long game. I mean, it was a stupid long game, but I mean, he he won. Yeah. Like he got the money and love. Yeah. So the real more marry for love or marry for money and you'll get love. Because love is money. Ooh. Love is money? Yeah. Okay. What was the moral that you, you, you took from the play? I don't know. That strong women are better. I get it. 
attest to that. I can attest to that. I like I like your intro better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we should probably head to the bookstore. I need to figure out where this bookstore is. Yeah, but know. there's a tiny bookstore in this town. Or not a tiny bookstore, but a bookstore in this tiny town. done at the bookstore it is now raining outside we got rained on well I just tried to take my Instagram picture so I got four books today a girl is a body of water um, I've heard really really good things about this book it was a bunch of people's like favorite books of the year whatever year it was that it came out um, and it's been long listed for random things and stuff like that so I've been wanting to read this book for a while I didn't realize it was a thick boy uh, but yeah very excited about this one the street by Ann Petrie this is a classic uh, novel that came out in like the 1940s. Again, heard amazing things about it. Uh, I love this cover so much. I don't even know if it's gonna, how clearly things are gonna come in. Uh, but yeah, super excited. We Ride Upon Sticks, which uh, follows this field hockey team, I believe, uh, in Massachusetts in the 1980s. And it, I think it also has something to do with witches. Like they evoke like witchcraft or something in order to <laughs> win their games because they're a really bad team or something along those lines. But I heard it's a really fun book. And also like, again, cover, amazing. Love these colors. Finally, Song by Michelle Jana Chan. Um, I've never heard of this book before, uh, but it has blurbs on the front from Alif Shafak, Bernadine Evaristo, uh, and I was like, I've never seen this before. I've never heard of this before. I looked it up on Goodreads and it only has like 28 reviews, but very high 28 reviews. So I read the first couple of sentences, gonna give it a try. It takes place in the 1870s following someone who uh, is from like a small village in China. Honestly, I'm not that sure because I've never heard of this book before. So very excited about my birthday books. I feel like I had pretty good self-control. A little bit. <laughs> 